Good morning. It is Saturday, uh, February, February 12th. <laughs> and what year? <laughs> exactly. 2022. 2020, 2022. And this is your next um, impromptu installment of Toilet Talk with Dina Lynn. So welcome. Uh, there's welcome. our favorite, favorite woman with her <laughs> on her toilet with her side butt. <laughs> because... Because toilet talk. Because I bring it with me everywhere I go. Where shit gets real. Shit gets real. So we, we actually have no idea what we're going to talk about right now. We just talked about we're a whole just, bunch of we stuff. We just talked about a whole bunch of different things. Privilege and racism, and, and, racism economic and economic disparity. Yeah, all of yeah, those neat all things. All the fun things. So, um, you know, I don't know. Uh, what are you inspired to say right now in this particular moment? This particular moment. What's, at, what's alive right now for me? Um... Well, as you know, I'm gearing up for an art show. Yeah. So very soon. Um, yeah, two that, weeks. Like two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half two and weeks. And a half sorry. Weeks. <laughs> Don't deprive me of those three days, damn it. <laughs> Give me my half. I'm a woman who's five one and a half, and I claim the half. The half matters in my world. The half is so important. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm in that that place of uh, fear and excitement and enjoying what I'm doing and wishing I'd start soon. I'm wearing, I'm wearing my paint pants. All of my clothes become paint clothes eventually. <laughs> Careful how close you get to the woman on the toilet. I'm perched. Carefully. Carefully. Yes, we don't want any wardrobe malfunctions while I'm literally on the toilet. Um, yeah, so what are we going to talk about? What's feeling alive for you right now? Gosh, well, I mean, you know, I guess one of the things that hits me right now, and, and you had mentioned this earlier, is is that right now it is gorgeously sunny outside. And yes, not only do you see, yes. get to see Dina on, on her toilet, but yes. you get to see her, the mess of her house as she goes through her. Oh, I live, live in an art studio right now. I'm, I'm aching to get my floors cleaned up, but that happens after I... I wish I had a studio. If any of you out there... Local have an empty building. Local that, that meaning Dallas, love. Oregon. In Dallas, Oregon, not Dallas, Texas. Um, if you had a, you know, my my dream is to occupy one of these many empty buildings in downtown Dallas with art studios for several artists in the back. Where a co-op. A co-op where people could watch us create. Maybe have windows in each of the rooms, and we can draw the shades if necessary, or open them for viewing. You can watch the artist in action, and then a at least one, if not many, classroom spaces where people can come in and we could teach them how we do what we do, make a mess, live, you know, not have to put away the mess, and then a storefront where we could sell our stuff. You know, this okay. sounds a lot like the peep shows in New York and Los Angeles, except peep shows. Art, art peep shows. Okay. Yeah, and you can have your art peeps. <laughs> that went downhill quickly. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, Sorry. we'll have signs outside, you know, live artists inside, yeah, in our little cages, dancing to our heart's content, something like that. Yeah, I won't ask you how you know about peep shows. We'll just. <laughs> I've just never, I've never been to one. <laughs> never okay. been to one. Heard anyway, 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 I've anyway, never anyway, performed anyway. In one, but Well, I mean, you know, when you're talking about, you know, being an artist in a room, you know, with mm. glass that people could look in on, it's like, well. Artist there you peep go. show. Yeah, it, anyway. it also could be seen as a zoo. You yeah. know, live artists. Do not feed the artists. Right. Oh, please, no, please. They're starving <laughs> artists. You need to be there. It's not as fun as people make it sound. I want to shift from starving artists to thriving artists. It's, it's, it's that here. Well, speaking of dreams and art, um, you have some some dreams of your own regarding creativity and what you would like to create and offer. She's putting me on the hot seat. Uh, this yeah. this is the hot seat right there. That's the hot seat. Uh, sure, a little bit. Uh, yeah. uh, well, okay, so uh, I do live edge work, uh, live edge woodwork. Um, uh, recent, um, reasonably recently into it, and um, I want to get into some really kind of bizarre creations where I create, uh, where I combine things like uh, stones and boulders and natural elements into creating tables and tables, um, functional works of art, which, uh, which um, kind of bend the mind, uh, you know, the can't bend the mind, bend the mind bend, seem to bend physics, um, cantilevers and unsupported edges and um, 
running water running water uh, live you know live uh living landscapes um on the actual pieces of art themselves and bonsai trees and bonsai trees. trees and anyway i mean it's i am not going to be able to adequately uh describe or demonstrate here on toilet talk what what these things but look like but hopefully you know hope, to do all this. Uh, yes i need a workshop and dean needs a workshop and you can manifest a barn something moo moo <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we're not going to get very far with this particular subject for me anyway, so. Um, I you know, we're, we're talking about creativity, I guess, and then ultimately each of us, all of us are creative beings and we create something all the time, even if it's um, chaos in our own lives. I'm, I, I can do that. <laughs> I have done that. <laughs> Yeah, we, we have this itch to create. We have this this desire to leave a, a legacy behind to to make something that that impacts others. You know, what is it? Uh, Charles Bukowski used to say, "Art is to comfort the disturbed and to disturb the comfortable." Yeah. Yeah. And I get off on both pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. I like to be a provocateur. Well, I guess that you know that that that's. That's a really good question to ask oneself, and it's not necessarily just about you or I, but about anybody watching, listening, whatever. What do you want to create? What what creates mm -hmm. a spaciousness of uh, living energy within oneself? And what can we not do? What is it we can't not do? What's well, that thing? I don't know that I I I don't know that I would I would pose it that way because. There are many of us that have dreams who end up never actually pursuing them. And so it's not something that we can't not do, but it's it's something that we can't not dream about. Well, it, it haunts us if we aren't doing it. Uh, haunts or inspires. Well, yeah. But then, but not necessarily to creativity, but at the very least to dream. Okay. So, so what is artwork but dream Material. realized? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because I get the vision in my head of what I want to either paint or write. And then there's this there's this urge. It's like a birthing thing. It 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 wants to come out of me into it so I can see it. Mm -hmm. So having the the picture in my head of what I how I want to paint a table or a chair, or what phrase I want to craft or what idea I want to get across to somebody. It, it feels alive inside of me and it wants to get out. It mm -hmm. wants to be birthed. And what Sometimes the birthing pains or you know. Right. I wonder, I, I have to wonder if, if simply dreaming really is enough for some. Is it uh, enough for you? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't, I don't know if dreaming is enough for me or not. Um, there are many dreams that I have that I have yet to realize and may never realize. Um, I mean, you know, my, my, um, my interest in creating uh, community, which, which goes far beyond what, um, or a lot of what we have here, uh, both in the United States or abroad in the world. Um, I can see it, I can dream about it, I can see how it could all work together, I can see the individual pieces and parts and how they would function together and that it's not any kind of utopia, that there are problems, that there are... Because um, uh, there's humans in it. Because there's humans in it, yeah. Um, and, uh, and, and those dreams may never be realized. But at the very least, I have taken some of the time to express those dreams sure. to others. So at least in some respect, the the legacy of that dream or the 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 passion, um, the energy of 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 the things that I see aren't completely lost simply within my own mind and heart. So are you a seed planter? Are you like a Johnny Appleseed? You you go you, around you, planting. You 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 went there on purpose. I know you. It's, it's always been a, ever since I heard the, I think I had a record when I was little about Johnny Appleseed. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I had the, the same record. Did yeah. you? Oh, yeah, cool. it's a Disney record. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It um, had an impact on me. If, um, the Just the notion of him walking all over the United States, I don't think he went as far as he did in my mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in my mind, he went all the way, mm -hmm. you know, to the Pacific, but he didn't. 
planting apple orchards that he would never eat the fruit from, but he wanted to have successive generations enjoy. This was this was his mission. This uh, was his a, a wise man will will plant the trees for which he will never sit under the yes. sh- sit sit in the shade of. Yes. Yeah, and one of the quotes I used on um, one of my pieces of artwork, which is a sort of rectangular apple tree. And the quote I like to use for that is, even if I knew tomorrow the world would fall apart, today I would still plant my apple tree. Well, one of the one of the reasons why I said she mentioned Johnny Appleseed on purpose is because um, I like backpacking and I have had uh, the thought of an idea of taking and just what I can carry on my back, um, in my backpack and starting to backpack around the you know, United States or, or the Pacific Northwest or, or West Coast or whatever, and um, creating a business called Appleseed Consulting, where literally I would walk around and start talking with people, uh, consulting with them, um, using my, my ability to st- think strategically and to uh, connect uh, ideas with, um, with what I've experienced and what other people want to do and create um, this kind of uh, vision consulting um, as a uh, both a, a physical and metaphorical means of taking ideas from one place to the other, like Johnny Appleseed did, and planting these seeds and helping them grow and, and working with others. Inspiring others. And inspiring others. Yeah. Um, and even if they're my ideas, seeing somebody else take off with them, because it's, it's, not, it's not about me. I think that that while maybe some of the ideas are mine, or at least mine to mine to assist or 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 help bring about, it doesn't mean that they're mine. The ideas um, are for the world. Uh, somebody who saw the idea of a watch uh, at some point created the first watch. Was it for him to have that watch, or her to have that watch, or was it for uh, them to create this 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 um, invention which would change the face of, of the world around them. The, the watch, the face. invention of the watch. That oh, very nice. Yes, yeah, well, you know, <laughs> hands and legs. And, hands and yeah. everything. Um, it, it becomes about what it contributes to the world. Right. So, anyway. Oh, I would miss you if you just took off with your backpack and went inspiring everybody. Well, you could, you could come, you could, could come, come with too. me. Yeah, yeah. You, could come, you could take your backpack and okay. you could come with me. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Inspiring others is is huge. I mean, it's when I introduce somebody to their own inner artist, and they th- they tell me, "Oh, I can't draw a stick figure." It's like, well, just come with me. Let me introduce you to somebody who's inside of you, and then I watch them light up mm-hmm. with, "Oh, wow, I'm better than I knew I was." Mm-hmm. That's that's exciting to me. Even if they don't make painting their thing, that creativity that they uncover and discover in themselves it overflows onto the rest of their life and however however they want to use that I'm I don't care if they ever paint again but helping people see and be who they really are is is you know my thing and then yours is creating that space that environment in which that becomes conducive that actually happens which is what a healer does a healer creates the environment for the body, the mind, the heart, whatever's out of alignment, to come into alignment, to integrate, to heal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Things work well together. So what was the topic for today? <laughs> um, inspiration. <laughs> inspiration. <laughs> creativity. Miscellaneous meandering musings. There you go. Because we were here, I was on the toilet and he was on the, the stool and And we said we should. And we said we should we should do one of these again. So maybe next time we'll have a particular topic when we start. But um I don't know. That feels pretty good to me. Good enough for now. Good enough. All right. Well good, good enough. enough is is great. We did it regardless. I'm wondering if we should end each of these with like a flush. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I don't know that that's kind of symbolic of flushing those ideas down the toilet or releasing them into the into, into the flow into the flow <laughs> so if you'd like to follow up on any of these ideas please please go down to the local you know sewage treatment plant oh, you'll no, find no, them no, floating no. around in there we don't want to negative we don't want to all you have to do really is just subscribe 
to the, <coughs> isn't that what the podcasters all say? Hit hit like and subscribe, and you're you're putting me off the, the screen a little bit. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hit, uh, you're showing my dirty laundry in the back. Uh, hit hit subscribe and like and share, and and whatever. And if you have any comments about this or any ideas you'd like to hear us ramble on Pontif and pon on about potty, potty pontificate about, <laughs> then say something down below. Sure. All sure. right. Yeah, well, happy Saturday, uh, happy 12th, happy February 2022, all of happy that. Happy life. Happy life. Go out and do something inspiring today, something, or ask for inspiration, take inspired action, and create something that you want to create today, just for you. Yeah. Even if it's just a conversation with a friend or, or whatever, just, just do something that makes you... Feel uh, alive. Makes you feel alive, makes you happy, or just takes you out of out of space you're in right now, even if it's depression. So uh, Shall I flush? Yes. Okay, ready? <laughs> Thanks for joining us on uh, Toilet Talk with Dina Lynn, where shit gets real. Have a great day. Bye bye.